Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game at stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Norwich have gone with a 4-5-1, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. And as you can see, we've already started here. Tries to get it forward quickly. Dowell. Dowell unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. He gets past his man. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Dowell. Goes for goal! Well, that's where he wants it. Dowell. Plays it out to the flank. Hoists it forward, cuts it out. Dowell. Oh, nice touch. Can he deliver? Surely a shot. That's a hit! Big relief. It just needed better contact. Forward it goes. He's made sure that that won't get through. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Sends that a long way. And it's played forward. Dow. Hoists it high. Goalkeeper's ball. Tries to get it forward quickly. Skip gets it back. Who's he going to play in? Plays it over to the other flank. 
Out to the left it goes. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Turns and goes back. Forward it goes. Could move up a gear here. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Oh, that's nice. Gets it into the middle. Cut out in the nick of time. Hughes. Could be a chance here. That's good defending, very good defending. Out to the right. And the through ball is intercepted. And it's played forward. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Heading towards half-time, and it is still scoreless. Played out to the right. Has a hit! Looks to bypass the midfield. Oh, good interception. And back to base. Pinged forward. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Hoists it forward. It's a loose ball. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So another team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. How do you review the first half? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break, nil-nil. Here we go again. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. Hoists it forward. Defending of the desperate variety. It's a brilliant interception. And the weighted pass. Hughes into a dangerous position. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. Forward it goes. Dowell hits that long, and it's got through. So who's he picking out? Dowell has been... Chance! <laughs> Just the pick-me-up the whole game needs! That really was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way.
Norwich take the lead. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Everything they would have spoken about in that dressing room during the break has a greater chance of happening thanks to the early goal. It's the perfect platform now to go on and, and try to win it. And it's played forward. Goes direct to the front line. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Skip. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. That's how you play on the counter, quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. starting to look very comfortable well they're very much the better team at the moment Peter and, and no doubt will be looking to to cause even more damage here Dowell looks to get on the end of this ball through needs to be good here a really good feat from him Looking for a decent ball in. Dow. Big chance! Decent enough try. And it's been taken short. A chance to play it in. He's had a shot! Well, that's where he wants it. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. It's being played forward. Lovely bit of skill there. Dowell! There's the ball in. And through to the goalkeeper. Skip, who does have an assist to his name. Dowell, over to the left. He slid it through. was glorious, pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit.
There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Norwich take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Tries to get it forward quickly. Cleverly. Cleverly drives it forward. And that has been cleared. Two minutes to be added on. Looking to hit the front line. Real chance! And that is the last effort of the game. A great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. That would be somewhat what we've witnessed, Jim. There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That is the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.